a self-driving Tesla comes with a hefty price tag, but a college student has given his Honda Civic similar abilities for a fraction of the cost. Breven Jorgensen has unveiled a device that replaces the rear-view mirror, which controls the brakes, accelerator and steering, and it only cost $700 to build. The Dai device uses the hardware design and software shared online, by Kama last year, which had originally planned to upgrade cars with the technology. Many technology and automobile firms are already testing modified cars on the road, and have been for years, reports MIT Review. But Jorgensen's 2016 Honda Civic is considered part of the grassroots test fleet, that MIT Review says is taking shape as tinkerers around the world strive, to upgrade their own vehicles with computing gear, that can share driving duties. I wanted to make my car a level 2 self-driving car for a couple of reasons, Jorgensen, who is a senior at the University of Nebraska, told Daily Mail. First, I have a girlfriend that lives in Denver and I make the drive between between Omaha and Denver enough that I thought I could put the common Neo to good use. The second main reason I wanted to upgrade my car was, because I am a strong believer that self-driving cars are the future, and I wanted to be a part of making that a reality. I want to help elevate fears that many people have around a subject, so polarizing is self-driving cars, so I will frequently offer to let friends ride in or even test drive my car to see how well it works. Jorgensen started this project after hearing about George Holt's idea, the founder of Kama, who was set to release a $999 device that would upgrade vehicles to steer themselves on the highway, and follow stop and go traffic. Hotz, who resides in New Jersey, was the first person to hack Apple's iPhone and claimed he could create a self-driving car in just one month that would be far superior to the Mobileye system, used in the Tesla Model S autonomous car, he revealed in December 2015. Hotz had planned to sell the technology on Amazon, but less than a year later, he hit a roadblock. In a letter and order in October 2016, the National Highway Traffic Safety Administration demanded that Kama provide proof to regulators that its proposed device for self-driving cars would be safe, or risk having its sale blocked. NHTSA Administrator Mark Rosakind has said he wants to encourage innovation in autonomous driving, because cars that avoid human mistakes could prevent thousands of deaths each year. A month after receiving the warning, Kama announced on its website that it had open-sourced the software code and robotics research platform for the driver assistance system the company had planned to start selling at the end of the year. Jorgensen decided to order the parts needed to build Kama's device, which is called Neo, the same day Hotz released the plans online. The Neo device consists of an OnePlus 3 smartphone designed with Kama's op and pillet software, which is now available for free. The software is a circuit board that links the device to the car's electronics, and sits in a 3D printed case. I tried to solder the board myself, and was not having a great time at it, so I ordered it pre-soldered, which took about a month, said Jorgensen. I bought the phone that is the brains of the Neo from Amazon with Prime, and stopped up at Walmart to get a cheap unlimited data plan for it. I ordered the 3D printed housing for the Neo, but in hindsight I wish I would have printed it with the 3D printer at work. And then there was a small order of screws and parts that takes about a week to get in the mail. Once you have all of the pieces you can build it in a day pretty easy. And he said the project took about an entire weekend to finish. I spent a weekend doing it, because I never flashed a new operating system to an Android before, so that was a learning curve, said Jorgensen. After all the parts are in and the phone is flashed all you do is plug in the phone to the board, and then pop off the housing that is above the rear view mirror in the car and there is a cable there you just plug into the second port on the board. It is really simple. Once the technology was finished, Jorgensen took it for a test in late January. The system is much more safe than anyone would probably initially give it credit for, he said. I am not adding any permanent changes to my car, so the Neo is basically stuck having to follow the rules Honda already built into the car.
The car cannot steer below 18 miles per hour. Anytime you touch the gas or brake pedals the Neo disengages. It displays a message telling the driver to take over if it feels it cannot navigate the situation. There is an audible beep every time the Neo is engaged or disengaged, and there are more safety features I am sure I am not thinking of. Comma put safety first and you can tell.